What's up everybody? Matt Nuzzo hanging out here at Real and Waterman's Retreat. We've got Brendan Guthrie, one of our top wing coaches here. We're gonna test out the Armstrong XPS light wind. So we've got a seven meter in his hands, eight meter over here. I'm a little bit scared, it's blowing 10 to 15. And these things have got some power. So Brennan, what's your feel on these wings? Have you used them some? You've been uh, teaching yeah. them? How, do, how are you feeling about this wing? So they're really awesome. They're optimized for light wind. So I've gone out, you know, on a downwind board with the eight meter and, you know, four to six miles per hour. But where these really shine is for our students in the lighter breeze, you know, 10 to 15, they just sheet in and go. That, that power baton that's at the tail now, or at the uh, trailing edge, they sheet in. It's giving them way more power as they go through yeah, so check this thing out. Brandon was just talking about this power baton, and he's not kidding. He was actually riding the other day in four to six miles an hour with this eight meter and a downwind board. This power baton, what it does is locks in that draft and allows you to really cut off the wingtip. So though you can see this is super scalloped out, and what that allows you to do is not touch the wingtip down. So like when you sheet in, you know, I mean, he's not like having his arms too high up, and that wingtip's still way out of the water. So most other wings are coming way down here and have another foot of material to get it right. So the power baton not only locks in the draft and gives you a really positive feel, but it also keeps that wing tip out of the water for a really big wing. These things are also super lightweight. They made use some lightweight materials and they made this thing. This is 6.6 .6 pounds on the seven meter and seven pounds on the eight. And there's a lot of wings in the like five meter range that are like, you know, six, six and a half pounds. So these are really lightweight for how big they are. So we're gonna go grab our boards, hit the water. I'm gonna start with the eight, kind of scared. <laughs> Please trade out we'll, with me. We'll switch, we'll switch. <laughs> but we're gonna try them out and show you kind of the differences. All right, let's hit the water. So one thing I've noticed is just sitting here in my hand, it's super stable. I don't know if it's the power baton or just Army's, you know, mad scientist stuff, but it'll just float here in my hand. So when I'm pumping downwind or doing the jive, it's not really twisting back and forth. I've, I've seen other wings kind of just rock Wonk, back and yeah, forth. Yeah, the thing just and, floats, yeah. Floats. Nice, all right, let's hit the water. So Brendan's got optimized downwind performance. I'm taking standard FG and this board still does really, really well in light air. Uh, I'm riding 1180 today, 180 tail. So this is kind of my light wind rig. So that's kind of what I want to ride. And he's going to go and just probably sheet and just take off and go do laps around me. Gone. Didn't even sheet it. He didn't even pump or anything. Crazy. One of the nice things about staying here at Waterman's Retreat is we got the Waterman's Foil Garden out here. Hop in, it's about waist deep here. Walk out 100 yards, gets the chest deep. Plenty deep for foiling. And then out around the wind meter, it's uh, you know maybe shoulder deep or something. So it's one of the few places in the Pamlico Sound that you can get some nice flat water uh, for learning, but also have depth for your mast. So sick. The downwind board, he just didn't even sheet in. He didn't even didn't even have to pop, just sheet it in and went. Ew. Okay, the moment of truth. Eight meters is kind of a lot for me, but it does have a lot of power and it does handle really well. For my size, I'd probably buy a seven as my main go-to because it's a little more versatile and it's a little more nimble. But this eight meter, you'll see, it's just so fun to ride in light, light, light. I mean, it's really light right here. It's like five to 10 maybe. This wing is so loud. Let's see here. So, starting to look transparent. Gone. Oh! basically overpowered in five to 10, 12 maybe. I mean, this wing, look how well it just drifts too. I mean, this is an eight meter. It floats like my four meter, crazy. Super easy. Had to follow a little bit. But...
<laughs> Feels good though. All right, so in this in the foil garden here inside of the slick, it's probably blowing five to ten. No white caps, no nothing. Big glassy spots. So let's see how this thing goes. I mean, this floats there. Even a big eight meter feels just. I mean, I'm holding it with one fingertip. I don't think the wind still hit the water once. air driving a lot of times it's super tricky because the wing just like back winds on you like it just falls out of the sky but this one's light enough it still goes i can't believe this thing just floats like that wow all right time to try the seven All right, bro, I want to try that thing. <laughs> it actually is feeling better than I expected. You know, it's like, I'm always like super intimidated. It's kind of nice and slide the slick here. It's what is it, yeah. five to 10 in here, I was figuring? Yeah, it's, it's pretty gusty, but it feels good. Yeah, I mean, it still like goes. It still like takes off really well. I'm actually super impressed with these FG boards, these, this, the new wing FG boards. Like, they're so efficient coming off the water. Like, they just like, they don't come off the water like that thing does. No, no, no. They're nothing well, but yeah. like they're for compared to any other wing board, like it's just so efficient coming off the water. Super, super awesome. So I'm just like to try out the seven meter, which is a little more my size, and just kind of see how it feels in comparison. Yeah. And, and to see how you do with the balance and the eight meter. No, I'll just see it in and go. With <laughs> okay, seven meter. So new. So light. Oh yeah, it feels a lot smaller. Oh, so easy, look at that! Heck! This is so good! Oh. And this eight, this seven meter is so nimble, man. I love it. See how this thing clogs out. crazy that this wing is so it does not feel like a seven meter at all but you have the power and you're riding in almost no breeze just wild super cool seven meters so fun I was kind of juiced on the outside there and it doesn't like bag out like you know I got out past the slick and it was kind of around 15 uh, and it doesn't like bag out or blow out like a lot of other big wings or just feel like super over overpowered or overbearing so cool Let's see what Brennan's got to say nice <laughs> so easy to fly what do you think bro this thing takes off really quickly, has a lot of power. I mean, it's crazy how much power it has. One thing I was just noticing too, like the wind just started coming up and like on the seven meter on the outside, like it doesn't like blow out and bag out and get like super heavy in the hands. Yeah. Like even though I was, you know, definitely uh, at the top of the range on that in some areas, it didn't feel like overbearing. No. You know, still held its shape, 
still, and I think it's got to do with a power bat and just locking in that draft. Yeah. Like the whole kind of center section feels good, and then you don't have like all this canopy out the wing tip doing nothing, you know? And I think that helps keep it stable, right? Even right. with the eight, I was able to like sit down and get up on floor. Right. That's a good right. Sign. <laughs> You're literally <laughs> sitting down and you took off. It was insane. Yeah. Cool, man. So, yeah, I mean, for my size, like, I think I would get a 7 meter personally, you know, unless I lived in, like, San Diego or someplace that it has that, like, 10 every day, and I didn't want to have a downwind board, um, then I would go to 8, but, like, anyone that's, like, you know, maybe just bigger than you, or yeah. in a dedicated light area, it, like, I would say the 8 meter is going to be a good call, and then, you know, I think anyone can ride the 7 meter. That's right. going to be a, just a incredible teaching tool. So. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna help us in that, you know, 5 to 10, 5 to 12 uh, rain, wind range with the 7 and anybody. Somebody over 180, 185, I'm going to put them on the 8. That's sick. Awesome. Cool. Well, if you guys want any more reviews, reach out online, realwatersports.com. Have any questions, give us a call at shop, 252-987-6000. Come and stay with us at Waterman's Retreat and Rail. Here's 30. Let's go. See you guys on the water for the next session.